At the end of January, this evening, a curiosity in the port of Monaco. Jacques top start of the boat. Top, top départ de la barque. Between yachts and speedboats, everyone is waiting for this little sailboat. It's still a moment of emotion. Get the dove ready. Get the dove ready. Top. Top. Tonight, almost a ceremony of another age. Stop it. A thousand monogasques celebrate the most ancient religious tradition, the most ancient religious tradition in their history. Once a year, they pay tribute to the patron saint of Monaco. Saint Devote. The legend, in the 4th century, this young woman Corsica is martyred to death by the Romans then his body is laid down in a boat that runs aground, at the foot of the rock, guided by a dove. Even if other cults have their place in Monaco, it is Catholicism that is recognized as the state religion. My fathers, please, come on in front of me. <laughs> the organizer only has a few minutes to put the rows in order, and it's not easy. We're going to sit there because there are boats here, they are on site. Anyway, he will come to you. The penitents are these women in black-white people who work for the church on a voluntary basis. These monogasques would miss it for nothing in the world this ceremony, who lives on the rock for 17 centuries. <laughs> It is the privilege of the elders and transmission for the youngest. It is necessary to perpetuate traditions. Okay, we can go gently. We have to go. The procession can start around relics of Saint Devote. Stunning contrast between tradition and modernism. For a few hours, devotion and contemplation. What? Monaco returns tonight with its origins. Charge. Fire. The procession arrives in front of the small church of Saint Devote, very close to the port. The relics will be exposed to them. For 300 years, the princes of Monaco preside over this ancient ceremony. The same gestures, the same postures. Of generation in generation. In front of their prince, penitents put their heart into it. While the princely couple pays himself in front of the relics, outside, we are preparing a ceremony, the setting on fire in a boat. Monsignor, please, you can go. It's up to the prince and to the princess of officer the most symbolic moment and spectacular of this party. The legend of this country tell that in the Middle Ages, criminals would have stolen the relics of Saint Devote. In retaliation, their boat was burnt. The relics recovered. I think traditions allow us to understand things, to know where you come from. As they say, to know where you are going you have to know where you come from. You need a solid rock, and let's go from there, you can build. Return to the palace of the princely couple. I have to leave you alone, I have to go. As is often the case in Monaco, an amazing end to the evening. Monaco, one of the most small states of the world. Two square kilometers for 40,000 A legendary country that fascinates and has been the stuff of dreams for decades. All year round, life in the principality is punctuated by exceptional appointments. What I like is that at each season, something happens. There is no of the off-season. In recent years, we have had the chance to follow the princely couple, during all these events, at the time of the famous Rose Ball which opens the season in Monaco in spring. 
the weekend of Formula One Grand Prix. Or the prestigious charity gala of the Red Cross in the middle of summer, are among the demonstrations the most popular. But in Monaco, they are also traditions steeped in history. Like this picnic at its best of family reunions, who brings together the Monegasques around their princely couple. Monegasques are immensely attached to the princely family. It's our anchor you see, we all relate to that. Or Christmas at the palace, for which Albert II accompanies Santa Claus in person and opens space to children in the country for a day, the house of the princes of Monaco. In the heart of the principality, the princely palace, high place of power. Forward, march. Every day at 11.55 a.m. sharp, begins the event listed in the guides, as in all the monarchies of Europe. Armed soldiers perform the traditional changing of the guard. Gun on the shoulder. Right. Behind the show, a reality. These carabinieri ensure security personnel of the sovereign and his family. At the same moment, inside, on the second floor of this 13th century Genos Tower, Prince Albert II is working in his private office. That's where he gets the big one's decisions of its small state, with a certain good mood. Ah, Here is a nice paraphernalia with thanks. I like that. So it's from here that the prince oversees everything. A very personal universe, rarely opened to cameras. Nearly 40 years after his disappearance, the place remains impregnated of his mother's memory Grace Kelly, the Hollywood star became Princess of Monaco. It's my mom's old desk which has been remodeled since its time. There are several tables that I had chosen with my mother. It's true that there are a lot of objects, of documents, of files, of papers, and lots of books. Let's say I'm used to of this orderly disorder, and I'm coming to find my way there. Don't worry, there's no delay in any sensitive cases. Between art objects, photographs, photos public and private. Prince Albert reigns over Monaco for almost two decades. An office where the world's frenzy doesn't seem to have an outlet. Moreover, no trace of the internet or computer in this room. I have a relationship a bit complicated with the internet. We only see very few times a year. No computer, but lots of medals. Very precious memories especially his trophies as a former bobsleigh champion. There are racing gold medals that I won in bobsleigh. International. International. And there it is, there it is, cup from America, not the sailing one, but the bobsleigh one in February 2000. It's still a very nice keepsake. The memory of an era where he was still a hereditary prince and could indulge to his passions. Relative carelessness that is coming to an end on the 6th of April 2005, with the death of his father. Since then, Albert II has become the 14th sovereign of Monaco. Taking over the role of a head of state, present throughout the year on every event in the principality. At the beginning of spring, a big rendezvous. The Monte Carlo Rolex Masters. First tennis tournament on the clay court of the season. Two weeks during which the best players on the circuit are coming up against each other. That year, after a final contested live in 70 countries. The trophies will be awarded by His Serene Highness, the Sovereign Prince of Monaco accompanied by Her Serene Highness Prince Charlene. Albert II introduces himself on the court with his wife, Princess Charlene and his cousin the Baroness of Messini. The prince hands over the trophies to the two finalists. Serbian Djokovic, already number one in the world. 
Defeated by Rafael Nadal, winner that day, the eighth of his 11 titles at the Monte Carlo Masters. And in this month of April, there is also a more spiritual event. The Vigil and the Easter Mass. Celebrated in the Cathedral Our Immaculate Lady of Monaco, located not far of the palace, the prince and thousands of followers attend every year. The Catholic religion is one of the pillars of the principality. Reason why the actions charities are so important, and mobilize so much energy. Behind the glitz and glamour, philanthropy is a key word here. Children's aid, to people in difficulty. Each year via foundations, millions of euros are thus donated to works. Tonight at the Sporting Club, it's the first rendezvous of the season we're preparing for the legendary Rose Ball wanted by Princess Grace. It was in 1954. In the prestigious Hall of Stars, installation of a decor worthy of Hollywood. Now it's Princess Caroline from Hanover in person who organizes it. And for this gala benefit underprivileged children, she had big plans. 900 wealthy donors are invited here around the princely family. For several decades, the Princess Caroline calls on Enroosting. For this event organizer, every year, it's a challenge. Last night we stayed until 12.30 a.m. for rehearsals, and the princess redid the plan. Now it is necessary that the whole brigade adapts, so that the table is the right size, and let the princess be well across from each other. Are we going down? An eye on everything because she has no right to make mistakes. That's not straight, for example. You see that this table is not straight. It is a bit in an arc. That's an attention to detail. Even if no one sees it, I see it for myself. We have the responsibility of this evening. It is necessary that everything be perfect. Calm, but it won't last. On stage, animator Stephen Byrne is in the middle of rehearsal. Monsignor, Madam, Your Highness, so we are going now proceed with the draw for the raffle. It's the Princess Caroline who chose it. Objective, to animate this event and especially the raffle. One of the highlights of the evening. He needs to step aside a little and for you to be in the middle. Almost 30 years since Stephen Byrne participates but and remains vigilant. I think it's better to get a little closer to them. Not worth it. They are so far away. Yes. I remember a year where several of them came. The presenter is joking. Sometimes there is of the confusion. But he has stage fright. There is always a twinge in the heart, because you say to yourself that you are going to speak in front of 900 people. I am speaking to the prince anyway sovereign, the sovereign princess, then Princess Caroline. I have known years when Caroline's children sneaking at me, making jokes. Because it is it remains an atmosphere extremely warm and friendly. At the same time, in the sky of the Cote Diaz, on board this helicopter, Diala Maki. In Dubai, she is a TV star. She traveled for thousand kilometers to attend tonight at the famous Rose Ball. I always enjoy the drive because the view is breathtaking. Very excited to be here, even though it's uh, for a short period of time, for two days. But, um, you know, two days in Monaco, what could I ask for more? For the occasion, it's Monaco that invites. Because the presence here of this young woman is very popular in the Middle East, is an advertisement guarantee for the principality. The Royal Ball is one of the um, events that I would like to attend. I really want to meet uh, Prince Albert. I missed him in uh, Dubai. He was in Dubai on a function just a few weeks back. This distinguished guest, the Principality housed it in one of its most beautiful palaces, the nearby Hermitage from the Place du Casino. 
in this big hotel, sumptuous hall, galleries, works of art, and for Diella, behind this door. Welcome to your room. A suite of 100 square meters. Room at bedtime. Dining room, living room. It's all there, with as a bonus. This is heaven. Heavenly view. I wouldn't mind actually waking up every morning. But look at this, it doesn't get any more beautiful. And on her terrace, she can even enjoy the view from her jacuzzi. p.m. top start of the evening. It's the ballet of cars luxury and collector's items. Ball gowns astonishing or elegant. In an exotic setting, it's the fashion show of glamour, pretty women and wealthy donors. Jet set, nobility, business world. Guests are rushing from all four corners of the planet and magic works. Ritual before entering in the room. Show your most beautiful smile for the international press. The star room shine brightly. Diella Mackie too, she discovers. There you go, please. It will be on this table and just wonders. now. Where is the prince's table? The prince's table is in the, in the middle. In the middle, in the middle. so I'm close. <laughs> The room full poster. What all are waiting now? Prince Albert II makes his entrance with her elder sister Princess Caroline. Since she organized this ball, it's the very first time that Caroline de Monaco manages to reunite her for children there. Pierre Casiraghi, accompanied by his wife Beatrice Borromeo. Charlotte Casiraghi, Andrea and his wife Tatiana Santo Domingo, and Alexandra from Hanover, 16 years old at the time, the youngest. It was his first rose ball and it is through the scene that the family makes his entrance to applause. Tuxedo, jewelry and pretty women. Members of the princely family were dispersed at different tables, to honor their guests. Magic, enchantment and above all donations for hospitalized children, and scholarships for students. That year, the Rose Ball will still have kept all its promises. Last weekend in May, the one for which the whole world has its eyes on Monaco. The Formula One Grand Prix a global event. The most prestigious race of the season, also the most watched. One billion viewers are going to follow these cars, sometimes launched at 300 km per hour, on the streets of the city. Achievements before your eyes of 200,000 people, come to admire the greatest drivers. Like the champion of the world 2016, the German Nico Rosberg. A Grand Prix that is above all a gigantic showcase for Monaco. So again, all the principality is mobilizing. Starting with the princely couple. It is 6 p.m. in this race day before the race. Tonight, the sovereign and the princess are receiving in the main courtyard of the palace in a sumptuous setting. All ready for one some of the most popular cocktails of the weekend. Outside, a hundred privileged patients, before being received by the Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene. For the Chamberlain of the Prince, Colonel Sola, an objective, to do respect the protocol. Delighted, we're going to stop there. We go back a little bit for be able to wait quietly. Nobody has to come in before the arrival of the princely couple the guests are decision makers from around the world entire, international personalities monogasques or friends of the princely family. A friendly cocktail, but also a public relations operation. 
It is thanks to these types of receptions that Monaco maintains its friendship, its legend. Meanwhile, Are you all right? Colonel Sola uses all his diplomacy to make guests wait, and even in several languages. We are at about 600, I think, because there are 800 invitations. At the moment, 200 are not arrived yet. Is he going to greet them all? Yet. A head of state to simple reports, even though its status can sometimes impress his contacts. <laughs> It's up to me to put them at ease, so that things are going well. Normally and the most naturally possible. The sovereign is incredible. He has an impressive memory. He remembers everything, so people are very touched every time, because he has this little nice word for everyone. A protocol that the princess, former top athlete, now knows on your fingertips. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Hello, I am delighted to get to know you. <laughs> Two more world champions, Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. <laughs> there are also members tonight of the princely family, Princess Caroline, elder sister of the sovereign. And in a summer blue dress, Princess Alexandra of Hanover, the daughter of Princess Caroline. Chic atmosphere, casual, and in this magical setting, magic guaranteed. Smile. For Albert II, mission accomplished. And just like the Grand Prix, this evening at Palais brings him back to his childhood memories. It is a great pleasure. You know that my parents had set up that reception the day before of the Grand Prix. Who was not done not in the yard, what was done with fewer guests in large apartments. What did you have aged the first time? I had to have. Eight or nine years old. We were sneaking between big people. <laughs> The next day, Grand Prix Day on the streets of Monaco. Half an hour before departure, Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene enter the scene. To raise the mood, the prince takes the steering wheel before the start of the competition. Accompanied by the race director, Monegasque flag in hand. It's the start of the tour of the Princely Trail. The couple travels the three kilometers of the circuit in front of the white hot crowd. Thank you so much. Look at the South African flag. Oh, yeah. In the stands of the princess's compatriots, aficionados who came to discover this little country transformed into a temple of speed. Thanks. Have a good Grand Prix. A surprising mix of sport and glamour which conceals huge financial stakes. Each year, the principality invests several tens of millions euros in the event. And here's how, in the wake of Prince Albert, an incredible business clicks onto store, at the end of the day, nearly 100 million euros. At the heart of this exceptional weekend, the Société des Bains de Mer, spearhead of the Monegasque economy, for palaces, five casinos, 33 restaurants, for the most part state properties. Above all, SBM is the number one employer from the region with 3,000 employees, like those of the Hotel de Paris. At the reception, Thierry, the chief caretaker. Anthony, it's Thierry. Is it possible to have a panto for 1,600 hours? A wealthy client has just asked him for a yacht for a quick return trip to Cannes. Yes, to go to Cannes and leave. Better than a taxi for these great fortunes. We found a 20-meter boat. The rate is 3,000 euro plus fuel. 
più la gasolina. A trifle for this clientele with excessive resources. On this Grand Prix weekend alone, the deputy director will try to do nearly a quarter of the annual turnover. Hello, how are you? Hello, Ludovic. Hello, are we ready? We're ready. Alessio Mileto can rely on regulars, jet setters and businessmen who booked a year in advance for lunch in the front row. You are in the Empire Room of the Hotel de Paris. It is the most exclusive, the most popular place, with a magnificent view of the circuit. Indeed, you have a double perspective. The Casino Chicane and of course the Casino Square. Price for dinner on Sundays in particular, it is 1,380 euros. Today's lunch rate for one person and 1,500 euros. Also in the port of Monaco, luxury has stopped. On these floating palaces, the ultra-privileged people are waiting for the start of the race. <laughs> On board one of them, extremely wealthy people guests from all over the world, they did the Monaco Grand Prix one of the most popular events of the year. On the Monica Bacardi Bridge, a rich heiress. How are you doing? Are you well? For her and her friends, the Grand Prix, it must be on board a yacht. We are close to the circuit, the smell, the noise. It really is a whole. It's a set of things, Do like a soup. <laughs> With a lot of ingredients. It vibrates. It's the Grand Prix, there is the noise. Who is your favorite? I don't want to make enemies for me. Renault. French cars. Me. I'm Italian. <laughs> and off we go for the big show. In the port, the yachts keep all their promises. From here, a guaranteed show for one of the most difficult prizes in the world. In their dressing room, the princely couple will stay eyes on the track. For two hours. That year, it's the British Lewis Hamilton who will win the race, winning the second of his three victories at the Monaco Grand Prix. At the summer, at the end of July, is organized the Monaco Red Cross Gala, the most important European charity evening. In a few hours, the Red Cross of Principality will collect half of the donations who he needs to help the most disadvantaged. Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm Jean, I'm the promoter. Nice to see you. Jean-René Palacio was so the artistic director from the theater of the sporting club. A room that is going to be completely transformed in just a few hours. 800 people are expected and everything still needs to be done. I have this meeting now, I'm going to see John for a second. It's good the way the it is, The preparations are going to reserve him a few surprises. For him, this was his 11th gala and incredible encounters each time. So these are the photos. Lionel Richie went to the Red Cross, Diana Ross, Cher, Grace Jones, B.B. King. It's a good source of pride anyway. Yes, I am very proud. Très très fier. If the international stars say yes to this gala, it is because it is the sovereign who is the real director of the evening. That year, the prince chose the Scorpions group. 100 million albums sold across the world. And this slow became a cult. The German group did not hesitate to upset his agenda, to ensure the show in front of 800 privileged people. This is the Red Cross Gala, it's a Prince Albert's very high prestige, prestigious kind of event, you know, so I don't know about that, but I'm sure many of those guests attending tomorrow night will have a leather jacket in the closet. <laughs> At the same time, in the corridors of the palace, the prince is already leaving to come to sporting. 
a short journey that he goes perform once again, by taking himself the steering wheel. We take our seats. A pleasure whose he never gets tired. False company at his bodyguards. The prince allows it from time to time. Because once the enclosure from the Palais Franchi, Albert II can treat yourself to a rare luxury, find yourself in total freedom on the streets of Monaco, like any what motorist. Me and my sisters we were raised with. The appreciation of simple things in life. Normal behaviors, and for that I am very grateful to my parents, for having insisted on the fact that we have experiences, as normal as possible being a child or adolescent. An anonymous stroll but who won't stay that way for long. In a hurry, a member of his cabinet warned the security of this unexpected getaway very quickly, the 550 cameras installed in the principality find his car. The Monegasque police, immediately informed, they are watching out for you. We see the policemen who salute by the way. Yes. I greet them in return. I have relative anonymity, it never lasts very long. Are we being followed? Yes, we are being followed. That's the two types sleazy people following us. <laughs> Discreetly, his close security came back in its wake, just in time, because the prince arrives at Sporting, for his inspection of the preparations of the Red Cross Gala. Come on, let's go run over Mr. Palacio. A very friendly visit, but Jean René eagerly awaits the prince's verdict. It's been over three months that the teams are mobilized. Jean René wants to take stock of the precise course of the evening. It is not known whether the princely couple will agree to dance, in the middle of the meal in front of the guests. Will you want to do the dance break? Yes. With a gesture, the sovereign reassures the artistic team. The couple will do this dance that everyone is waiting for. Sommeliers, please, the clerk sommeliers, come on. A few minutes away from kickoff, final briefing for staff. I remind you that tonight, people pay 1,000 euros per person without the drinks. So I'm asking you to provide impeccable service, because every bottle costs at least 350 euros, and we go all the way up to the top, up to 10,000 euros. We provide careful service, tonight it's a must. So we have a clientele who tonight, is select every customer thinks that it is very important. It's 8 p.m. in the evening can finally begin. While the couple princely leaves the palace. At sporting, the guests are coming. In the summer social circuit, the Red Cross Gala is a stage unavoidable. Figures of European Gotha. Mannequins. Personalities of the jet set. A display of wealth that may seem offset for a charity evening. But the Monegasque Red Cross fully assume this big gap, for a good cause. The guests have all arrived. The Sovereign and the Princess finally do their entry into the Star Room. On the menu, salmon, caviar. From the top of the sole and langoustins. To the sound of an orchestra New York jazz. Musicians a bit carried away by the atmosphere. Backstage, 
Jean Rene Palacio is worried about the highlight of the evening. It is 10 pm past, the group would have already had to put on a chain, on the accompanying piece the long awaited opening of the ball, by the princely couple. Hello, 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 hello. Lionel Richie. Oh. Hello, opening bar. The prince and the princess can get started on the track. And I want to tell you so. The next day, the image is going to be one of magazines from around the world. In the room, many came also to share this moment. Dance with them. In the meantime, behind the scenes, the big moment is getting ready. In a few moments, the King's Hard Rock are going to replace the Jasmine. Scorpions between finally on stage. The Prince, a rock fan returns to the hits that he loved in the 1980s. An amateur drummer, he astonished his teams when choosing programming. He's a real fan of Scorpions, he really knows the history of the group. I went on the internet to read the bio, to be able to respond to him, because he was asking me lots of questions. I admit that I am not very good at Scorpions. And when Boy George, the famous English singer from Culture Club, start from behind turntables, Prince Albert and Princess Charlene can let loose on the trail. The party is in full swing. The roof of sporting will then open to make way for a magnificent fireworks. The opportunity for the princely couple to be more in love than ever. The gala filled its objective. The Red Cross collected 700,000 euros that evening, one half for shares charities in the region the other for hospitals and projects humanitarians around the world. Summer is coming to an end. The time has come for Monegasques to find another side of their principality, very often ignored. Out of 40,000 inhabitants, only 9,000 have Monegasque nationality. A people viscerally attached to his prince. To maintain this link, the monarchs of Monaco have taken the habit of giving them every year, in a city park, a big meal under the olive trees, a traditional picnic. Come on guys, we mount a block of three. It is the town hall that organizes this popular rally. We're going to do the table princely right away. An event in all simplicity, plastic chairs and giant barbecue. We are far from the big one social evenings in the principality. Okay, c'est bon. It's 6 p.m. The prince and the princess are announced. That evening, Prince Albert put on the traditional costume, monogasque fishes. As for Princess Charlene, no evening gown, but an outfit casual. Celine, a little monogasque, has the privilege of handing over a bouquet to the princess before to dance the Palladian in front of her. For the princely couple, this holiday is an opportunity to highlight everything that links them to this small community. Folklore, and especially Monegasque. The Monegasque language sung through their national anthem. A mixture of Italian and Provençal patois. The symbol of identity of an entire people. As they sing, these proud monogasques are also united by the Catholic religion enshrined in the Constitution. Here, not an event is celebrated without a mass or a blessing.
that evening, there are 500 to have responded to the prince's appointment. Rather very comfortable with each of them. It's like a family celebration. There are a lot of people here that I've known forever. There are some with whom I was on the school benches. There are some with whom I was in different sports clubs. There are former members palace staff who saw me born practically. That's why it's especially moving and touching. It's true that I have the impression to be with family. Could you tell us in Monegasque, I am having a nice evening? <laughs> and a beautiful evening including the menu is also traditional. Soccer, a thin pancake made from flour chickpeas. Unavoidable here. The same goes for Barbajuan's fried donuts stuffed with charred leaves. Oh, excellent, excellent. A recipe secret, I imagine. <laughs> Typical dishes and simple, in the image of families crossed paths that evening. Because contrary to what one could imagine, the small people of Monaco, as he calls himself, is not a club of billionaires. Monegasques are essentially traders, artisans or civil servants. Unchangeable ritual, each year, the princely couple sits down at the table, in the midst of his guests. The Monegasques are all immensely attached to the princely family and ever since generations already. It's our anchor, we all relate to that. There is also another opportunity for which the Monegasques are meeting around of their sovereign. National Day, celebrated since the 18th century. A big day too for Ludovica, 17 years old. This high school student Hatelia from Monaco will participate in the preparation the royal meal. It is the first time that this Monegasque enters the palace grounds. It is very beautiful. I did not imagine that it was like that. It's really, really magnificent castle. No time to get ecstatic longer this young apprentice have renders vues in the kitchen. At 3 a.m. until kickoff, it's effervescence. It's the official lunch, the most important of the year. Ludovica is at workforce. It's really a great experience. Admittedly, it's weird, but it's a pleasure because he's our prince and I grew up here since I was born. It's a pleasure and an honor to be able to serve him. Yes, it's good. We are under pressure though because it doesn't happen to everyone to be able to serve the prince anyway. The privilege also of discovering the products exceptionally served at the princely table. Come and see everyone. Christian Garcia is the chef of the palace since 2004. Meet Mario Aprile, the President White Truffle producers from Alba. He brings us back a diamond of its region. Spectacular. You can feel, you can see. A white truffle that comes from Italy, a very rare product. It's the white truffle from Alba that will be grated on creamy polenta of the National Day meal. In less than two hours now, the 80 guests will have the privilege to sit by the side of the princely fam. Eily. Ludovica, the student at the hotel school discover the interior of the palace. Before the shot is fired, she accompanies Chef Christian Garcia for a last coordination of teams. Hello, everyone. Before each official reception. 
As an aperitif, you will have small macarons with foie gras and smoked salmon macarons. The chef sets out the details of the menu for the butlers. They will be able to inform guests if necessary. The cheese, there will be the brie de mo with white truffle from Alba. There will be palade and femia, the cheese goats coming from Lazier. So what is dessert? In such a setting, difficult for Ludovica to concentrate. Up there, it's beautiful. The drawings are really old, it shows. It's magnificent, very beautiful, and lamp posts are perfect. Outside, on Palace Square, thousands of spectators for the event the most symbolic of the year. Each fall, on November 19th, monogasques wear red and white, the colors of the Principality since 1857. It is customary that the sovereign and his family appear in the windows. It's very important. More than usual, then in we fact. affirm our attachment to our sovereign and to his family. That year, exclusively, Prince Albert had agreed to leave us film this moment. That is both intimate and solemn. Rare images of the Grimaldis almost completely, accomplices behind the walls of the palace. Sisters of the prince, his youngest daughter, Princess Stephanie, his eldest, Caroline, Princess of Hanover. And his two sons, Andrea, 28 years old at the time, and Pierre, 25 years on this image. And their sister, Charlotte Casiraghi, then aged 26. And for the first times the twins. Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella are going to live today in the arms of their parents, their first national holiday. The moment that all are waiting. Appearance of the couple princely on the balcony. The photo is historic. She's going to do around the world. In the room from the throne, notables of the principality take their place for the official lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, I am asking you to get up. The protocol requires that the family princely arrives after her guests. Silence ladies and gentlemen, I'm with you request to welcome their highnesses. The family enters the room in order of seating at the table. The meal can begin. A total of 22 waiters for this lunch the most prestigious of the year. If in the throne room everyone relaxes, one floor below, another atmosphere. Let's go. We're speeding up. In the kitchen, the chef's brigade Christian Garcia is under pressure. We grate the truffle over the polenta. Come on, let's send. Polenta with white truffle and sautéed lamb with asparagus. <laughs> Challenge. Each of the 80 guests must be served at the same time. The princely table. Come on, let's go. Lunch will last one hour and 15 minutes and at the meal's end, in the kitchens. Verdict. The prince has put me in charge of all thank you on his behalf. It was really very happy with the meal. Congratulations to all and thank you again for everything. Once again this year, the 250 employees of the palace and the monogasques will have mobilized to offer to the prince the most beautiful holiday. End of December, change decor in the principality. On the casino square, the palm trees have given the limelight to the fir trees. And the monogasques have looking at the palace. Because here, Albert II and Charlene are getting ready to spend a Christmas like no other we are in 2015 and it is their first Christmas as parents, with Jacques and Gabriella, their twins. The discovery new emotions. Mix of memories, happiness shared and of wonder. 
They are already very playful. They want to move permanently. Especially Jacques. They are very active and very curious about everything. That's what's wonderful at that age. There is the permanent discovery of a lot of things. At this beginning in the afternoon, Monegasque families converge on the rock. Catherine and her two Marine and Pierre children are very attached to this tradition. Monegasques remember being went to the palace when they were children and for having participated at the show. It contributes to cementing and to build that feeling of belonging to the Monegasque community. There are friends waiting, and it's nice too, they all meet again. They talk about it several days before. So there is the joy of anticipation and the joy of the moment. For these children, it's euphoria, a shared enthusiasm by their parents, that plunge back into their childhood memories. It's a magical moment with our sovereign prince. I did it when I was very small up to 12 years old. There was Princess Grace, Caroline, Stephanie, Prince the whole Albert. family. And every little Monegasque has received his nominative invitation. Mr. Liam is invited to the Christmas tree offered to Monegasque children. Parents are not invited. So, final recommendation. Boo Boo, with Liam, you are wise, okay. As usual we don't get excited like crazy, and what do we say to the prince or to the princess? Thank you. Thank you, your highness. You can just say thank you to him. He will be thank happy. Thank you, Monsignor. Thank you, Monsignor, for the prince. And we can say, thank you, madam, it's for the princess. It's off for the enchanted journey. Nice tie. The little one's leprechauns are here. And finally the prince and the princess herself. Come on kids, let's go. What is your name? Anthony. Did you like it or not? Were you next to the prince? And did you see the princess? Yes, we were in front. Does Albert's sweetheart speak French? So we don't say Albert's sweetheart, they say the princess, and she speaks French. We say Monsignor to the prince, princess is called madam, or highness. This afternoon, the couple princely and all theirs. For little Pierre and his friends, latest revision of the protocol. So it's the girl. We say, thank you, my highness. Special attention and nominative gifts for everyone. <laughs> to the right of the princely couple, Princess Stephanie's children, Louis Ducruet and Camille Gottlieb. Do you like play Santa Claus? I like to be generous. Santa Claus is here. I am not going to take his place. It helps a lot. It's very important because it also creates a link. So, Cassia, Merry Christmas. Two hours of distribution and a head full of memories. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Everyone Thanks. has their own toy for Pierre and his friends. I have a plane. And I have a rocket. Over here, kids. And we don't run not on the stairs. It was children's day, but outside the palace, the most moved are maybe the parents. When you're a kid, you're impressed to see the prince and princess. Does it upset you? 
Yes, really. We are so attached to them, yes. A princely family, who never forgets to perpetuate all the traditions of the principality, in order to write, year after year, the pages of the big book history of Monaco.